Hey, Matt Sellhorse, thanks for checking out this video and um, <clears throat> wanting to learn more about the boat sales vending machine concept. You understand we're talking about putting money in to a vending machine, which is your marketing, and that's going to get you a, a boat sale out. And it's going to be a high margin boat sale. And the idea that I want you to get your head around is we're no longer, there's going to be a disconnect between marketing and hopefully getting a sale. We're going to try to make more of a direct connection with our dollar spend on marketing. And I use the term marketing to include a lot of different things, which you'll see here, and why the system altogether works so well and is much more predictable. So we're going to start, the vending machine that I'm going to show you is going to start with the Facebook ad. I like Facebook in some respects in that you have a, a highly targeted um, demographic that you can go after where you know their income in a lot of cases, you know if they're a homeowner, you know where they live. Um, but the front end of this vending machine just happens to be Facebook because one, it's easy to show you and it can be a good source. It could also, the front end of the vending machine could be a conversation at a boat show. It could be a direct mail campaign. It could be a referral campaign. It could be a Google AdWords. It could be um, doing good search engine optimization on your website, leading them to this offer. So don't be caught up that I'm showing you the Facebook version of this, um, of this vending machine, uh, but pay attention. And I, I think you're gonna look at sales and marketing a little different when you watch this. So the initial message the offer that we're making is to offer a consumer guide. So this is people that are early in the process that are considering buying a boat. Attention boat pontoon buyers, are you considering buying a newer used pontoon or tritune this summer? And then we're gonna offer them the guide. When they click on that guide, it's gonna take them to a landing page, which you see right here. One of the keys, one of the keys to a solid boat sales vending machine and a trackable ad spend is to know that you're not just sending traffic to your home page. It's a huge mistake I see so many people make, whether they have an in-house marketing agency or even if you're using a paid supposed expert in the digital marketing space, a lot of times they're just sending traffic to your home page. The problem with that is your home page has a lot of stuff on it and people easily get confused and discourage or they just scroll through the inventory and they don't see a boat that they like or they don't see prices on it because your manufacturer won't allow that and they get off your site and you lose them forever so the idea here is we give a good solid offer in this case the offer is a consumer's guide the offer could also be an invitation to an event it could be additional information we could in a more advanced scenario, take them directly to the piece of content and then have the strategy in the boat sales vending machine to remarket to them. But what I'm showing you here is the, is the basic version so you can kind of see the steps. We offer them the consumer guide. We give them some good reasons why they would be compelled to gather this information. We know they're in shopper or evaluation mode. They could even be in that now buyer stage, but Three questions you must answer before shopping. The single best negotiation question you can ask, um, even if you hate negotiations. So we're not worried about selling ourselves at this point because it's too early to sell you and the boats. All you're worried about is, can I generate a lead that appears to be a quality buyer? So we've targeted them on Facebook based on their demographics. If they want this consumer guide to buy a tritune or a pontoon and we sell pontoons and tritunes, are they likely a good candidate for us? Well, probably. They're better than the, a radio spot. They're better than a television spot. They're better than a, a print ad that um, you don't know anything else about them and you just put your, your branding information, a kind of a glorified business card. So they're gonna click this. Yes, we want that consumer guide. And they're gonna put in their information and they're gonna click this button. Now what we do is we take them to a consumer guide. We actually take them to something that's going to help them make a smart decision when they're buying their boat. So this could be something as easy as this little cheesy video I put together. Um, that um, it, it just is going to go through and it's going to educate them. It's going to talk about the things they need to know as they're shopping for boats. This one happens to be about 20 minutes long. 
Now, what's cool is because we're using digital marketing, we're directing them to a website, we can make additional offers. We can also track them so we can retarget and remarket, which for you means that we can follow them around the internet and show different um, ads to them. And those ads, we can be customized because we know that they watched a part or all of a particular video when we track it the right way, have the right technology in place, and then we make an offer to them. Uh, the offer could be about a, a personal boat loan report, direct more money to your F&I, uh, more revenue to your F&I, or just have them shop for pontoons in your area, and we can direct them right to, right to your inventory page. But what we did before that was we captured their name and email address. Now, why that's so key, and this is where the boat sales vending machine piece comes in, is we're not just going to stop there. We're not going to say, great, marketing's job's done. Now it's the salesperson's responsibility to follow up. Yes, it is the salesperson's responsibility to follow up. However, your marketing job is not done. If you understand marketing and the educational spectrum of a boat buyer, you also understand that, listen, it's going to take people several weeks, several months, even several years to go from looking at boats to making a buying decision. So you want to have what I call the 24-7 selling machine in place so that the leads are generated, they go into the 24-7 selling machine, and during that time, you continue to educate them. You continue to motivate them. You continue to brand yourself and become their boat guy, their boat person, who when they are ready, they come to you and you have a strategy in place to get those leads to show up at your dealership face to face, nose to nose, toes to toes with your best salespeople who've been trained, properly trained and have a system in place to take them into the dealership, walk them through the sales process and ask for the, ask for the boat sale. When you have all of those pieces together, that vending machine, you know how you put that dollar in and it goes in and then you push your button and then that little coil turns and turns and then your sale drops out? Well, this is a little bit more complicated than dollar in, push the button and sail out. But when you think of it in that respect, your coil is just turning a little bit longer and you've got to make sure that you don't stop when you generate the lead. Now what happens, why I call this a boat sales vending machine is because at the end of the year or every month, you can go back and you can look, hey, did we get a sale from this campaign? Did we get a sale from this campaign? Because when you do it right, the tracking's there and we know that Bob Jones came through. We got him through this Facebook ad. We took him through, he watched the video. We can see what type of clicks, what, what, um, what he was engaged with in our 24-7 selling machine. What emails did he look at? What content did he watch? What events did he show up to? And we can go back at the, at the end of the season or every month and look at our sales and say, okay, let's go see what process Bob Smith went to and we can track that sale back to the initial lead source and we can also track, did they, did they engage with us anywhere else? Were there any other attributions for this particular lead? What was the process that they went through? And we can then improve the vending machine. We can say, oh, that seemed to be, we had five people that did this step and they turned into a boat sale shortly after. How can we increase that step in the 24 seven selling machine and increase our sales and make every dollar accountable? It's very cool. It requires some technology set up, but not, not a significant amount. But what it does require is having some sort of a CRM system, having something in place where you can track where your leads are coming from, dump them in automatically, have a, a systematic email campaign follow-up, do some direct mail, make sure your salespeople are making out outbound calls with an appropriate message, making an appropriate offer, inviting them to the appropriate events that you have going on in your dealership, and that's gonna turn your marketing spend into a vending machine. I'm gonna put 500, 1,000, $2,000 into the vending machine through my marketing, and it's gonna spit out a high margin boat sale. And what's great about that is, 
you say I want to I want to sell a hundred boats, and your average your average margin on those is let's say for easy math ten thousand dollars. Well, when I put my when I put my money in, I want to make sure for that spend, I maybe am going to be willing to invest fifteen hundred dollars in my boat sales vending machine, and I'm going to pull out ten thousand dollars of gross margin. Maybe that's twenty. Maybe maybe that's two thousand. Maybe it's a thousand, but when you have that correlation and you know when I put this money in I'm gonna get this money out over a certain period of time and you run this boat sales vending machine year over year over year your business becomes much more predictable much more reliable and much more stable and it all has to do with changing your mindset of marketing and sales being separate and making offers that are easily trackable so every dollar of your marketing budget is uh, held responsible for results. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the explanation of the boat sales vending machine. If you're curious what would one would look like for your particular dealership, um, let's go ahead and get on the phone. Um, I'll, I'll do a free strategy session since you took the time to watch this video. We'll get on the phone. We'll talk a little bit about your business. We can talk about the opportunities that you have, where there's opportunity to get more from your marketing dollar, and then you can also see my 24 seven selling machine in place and see how that works and kind of how the mechanics go that, um, that you can likely take and implement into your boat business as well. So thank you very much. To take advantage of that strategy session, just click that button down below. And um, I believe it's gonna be red is what color they're gonna make it. So click that red button down below and uh, I look forward to getting on the phone with you very, very soon. Thanks a lot.